Okay, so I've got my new Tim Drake costume and I've got a coffee. This is where I think this whole cosplay is now fully 100% complete. Wouldn't you agree? Ow! Hot, hot, hot! Um. What's happening my fellow geeks on the internet? I'm Tian coming at you with a new cosplay video. This time I've got a cosplay video on my new Tactical Robin. Um, that's what I'm going to call it. Tactical Robin Cosplay 2.0 and Stealth Mode Robin. Now if you saw my Robin video a little while ago with the final reveal of like the um, singlet with the foam plating and uh, the red sleeves and the black and you know the, the, the latest one. Which, which I did before Supernova. I updated a little bit before Supernova, so I'm gonna go over some of the changes in that too, but basically most of it is now changed. So I considered what I wore to Supernova was like the 1.5, it's now the 2.0, as well as a stealth mode version of the cosplay, which I thought would have been a fun idea to do and just have, um, so yeah. I will be wearing these to Oz Comic Con. So I do have an alternative version, which I'll briefly go over here now, but I'll show you at the end. And I may wear that to Oscar McCombs instead because I'm starting to like that look. But let's go over to the main cosplay. So, uh, first up will be like the generic stuff which doesn't really change between the characters. So first up is these new tactical pants. Now the first ones that I did have were those black and grey ones which I used for Arkham City. They were the black and grey like waterproof mountain climbing pants, something like that. So I wanted something a little bit different so I went out Oh, so I got these black tactical pants, but yeah, um, I did carry over this underbelt as I thought it was great for, you know, easy to hide and I can adjust it, so it's just what I wear underneath the main belt. But yeah, it's just really nice, you know, it gives it a tactical look, so um, yeah, there's them. Uh, the gloves, I actually changed to fingerless gloves as it's just easier at a convention with fingerless gloves and they just look cooler, so... I've got um, them. And another change that I did was I changed out these knee pads. So I had the long ones, which were basically my Arkham City ones painted uh, from green to black. Well, now I've got these. I just got them in and just weathered them up. I wore these up the convention too. They're so much better. They fit the legs better. The other ones are a bit longer, so they kind of, you know, make the boots look all funny. So. I think these are great. And then I also changed the gauntlets with, because they came with forearm guards as well. Got these, now these fins are new. I'm still waiting for some of the glue to dry on them. Um, but yeah, once they do dry, dry I'll paint them like a metallic silver color. Um, and yeah, so the fins, again, last minute. I just thought, you know, something that's a little bit different. I usually don't like Robin with fins, just, for me, it's like, depending on the costume, depends on whether or not I like the fins on them or not. So, uh, it may sound weird, but yeah, I decided to add them. Now, also with the gauntlets, this is a separate piece, but it is something I wanted to add. Uh, shout out to John Hay for this. Uh, he has a uh, um, Instagram and a YouTube, so links to those. But he did a awesome Jason Todd armored cosplay. Um, and I was watching it last night and I saw, you know, he shows up like one of his old gauntlet pieces, which he uses. It's like a kid's soccer shin pads, which he's just used and then foam, like added onto it. But he had an older version, which looked a bit bulkier, so he changed them. But that older version had like a one of these smart watches, like screens. Now, these aren't that expensive. It's not like an Apple brand or anything like that. You know, it does Bluetooth to your phone. You can listen to music through it. Um, you need a SIM card to make calls from it, but you can see notifications, like if you get a text message, stuff like that. So, I found my one of these. And so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to put it on like that and then have the gauntlet over the top. So I'll show you what I mean. So you can hands it like so, you just adjust it and you have something like that. So it gives a good look. Um, I really love this look for the gauntlet. Um, and this whole idea because you know Tim Drake being the techie and brainy Robin I think this just works you know having like a little computer device thing so you know you can hack with this or 
pull on the bat wing or whatever, you know, and it kind of like looks like emulates what Batman had in Arkham City when he called in for the line launcher or he activated a tracker, he used something like that and just, you know, would just stand there, you know, pressing buttons and stuff. So kind of gives that look too. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. I think it works for him. So yeah, um, check out John Hay if you haven't already. His cosplays are awesome. Next up is the belt. Now the belt, I updated a little bit again. You did see him when I did that um, Supernova video and um, Fallout 4 Part 5. But if you haven't seen that video, um, this is the belt. It is updated. So I did um, add, I did get like these pouches in afterwards um, because originally I had some more of these on and then I think had a couple of these. But you know, I had already bought these pouches so I decided to add them on um, just to give them, just to break up some of the pouches. I got this bit here for the grapple gun, which all I've done is just add that clip on here and just finish painting around. So, you know, sticks on like so, and then you just wear the belt and, you know, you don't have to carry the grapple gun. So, yeah. Belt buckle's also from Bendable Effects again. So, yeah, I really love how this looks for the cosplays. Okay, so now for the 2.0, I did get a new sleeveless red shirt here. Um, it doesn't have any of the foam on the front, so it's just blank. It, this is just what I, what I wear underneath the main armor, but over the black long sleeve shirt. And here is the motorcycle armor. I'm so happy I finally had this. Um, this would spend about a month in customs. I can't remember what date I ordered it, but it, it arrived in like customs up in Melbourne about March 20th and it wasn't until like I was supposed to get it April 4th before Supernova but I didn't get it till May 5th or 6th I would say so I had to wait about a month for this to go through um, but I'm so happy I got it first basically that night when I got it I customized it and had already you know finished it by that night so what I did was I drilled in some um, holes um, to, to have some bullet holes. Use some Procreate just to um, stick in there, and then I use the end of a paintbrush, which is round, and just shape it just to make it look better. Because I thought once I did the drill uh, by itself, it just looked weird. So that's why I added the foam, and just looks like you know broken bits of armor, and that you know it looks bulletproof, and so it hasn't really done too much. So did that, then I just took like a knife and just. Uh, went over and just cut different areas and um, you know painted some metallic grey over the top of it just that way it looks like you know swords or knives or whatever so um, yeah there's that and then I also just did some dry brushing on some of these edges as well uh, just to give it a better look and this R is from GC5 effects it's their Arkham City R um, and I had to message them asking if they could do a gunmetal R because it wasn't an option. I think the option they have is gold, blue, red, um, black, and I think pink, or something like that. So they didn't have a silver gunmetal option, so I messaged them and he was so cool. He just did it in a gunmetal color and sent it over. So um, yeah, I'm really happy with how this now looks. I didn't do any weathering on the back as it's covered by the cape. So yeah, that's just what the front looks like. I'm just gonna add some Velcro. The only thing I need to do for these uh, Roman cosplays is get some Velcro and just Velcro down the front so that way it doesn't flip off and I don't have to spend the day just readjusting. But um, yeah, super happy with how that looks. And now onto the stealth mode Robin. See, this black compression shirt is exactly the same as the other one, but it's just got this dark gray sh um, stitching. So that looks um, really cool. And I love how that looks. I also got these dark gray sleeves, a bit darker than what I would have liked, but yeah, um, they work. Um, so, you know, they just top off the um, cosplay. And then I also got this gray sleeveless shirt as well, um, which I had to wait a little bit longer um, for this. Like I only just got it in, I think Friday last week or something. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I did. You know, I wanted to have the video out earlier, but, um, you know, I didn't have this, so 
Um, yeah, I finally got this in and yeah, just tops it off and just matches it. And then of course, I have to get another one of these. Now, this armor I got from within Australia, uh, so that I didn't have to wait as long. I got it in black, um, as it only offered black and uh, white. And I actually did a stream when I got this, so yeah. It came in as black, um, I just thought it would be a perfect base. And so, I basically straight away, as soon as I got it, I just took it outside, spray painted some primer on it, like some grey primer. Then I went over in a grey um, spray paint. Um, and then I brought it inside and I did, that's when I did the live stream. I basically did, did the same thing. I drilled some holes in it, um, just trying to match it up to this red um, torso armor was a pain. Cause I had to try and get the bullet holes you know, exactly the same. Because if you've seen Young Justice and you know uh, when they do, turn, you know, do their stealth mode, they basically just press their logo. So, you, you know, press the logo and then it changes to the dark stealth mode colors. So, um, yeah, I had to base, which meant doing that meant I had to try and do, get as close as I could to the weathering on this. So I I'm pretty happy with how it looks, you know, it's not 100% accurate, but then again, you're not seeing me wear these both at once. Um, so, um, I think I'm wearing this one day, wearing this another, so it's like, unless you're looking at them side by side and really looking closely, you're not going to be able to tell they're not 100%, you know, accurate. But, yeah, so I did all the um, weathering and stuff. Um, I think I used a bit too much Procreate, on, like around the edges and that, but I'm fine with that. The R is done in red, um, so I got this from GC5 Effects as well. And then I also did the scratches and everything as well. So I'm really happy with how uh, these both look. So that's basically it for the Robin cosplay. Um, in the future, I do want to do some more Team Drake cosplays. I am wanting to do for packs. I'm wanting to do a red Robin cosplay with. I've got some motorcycle armor, like a different sort of chest piece, and I'll get some new forearm guards and knee guards and do something new for the belt, and get something different for the cape, and I am getting a 3D printed cowl. Um, it's similar to what the Boy Wonder has for his DCEU Red Robin. It's that file, but I'm getting it printed by Luke101, so I'll link to his Instagram and YouTube down below. I'm getting that 3D printed and then I'm also getting the emblem and the tabs 3D printed and then I'll have to do something to, you know, stick them onto somewhere so I can have the bandolier. And then I'm also hoping to do a movie verse style of the Young Justice Season 2 uh, Robin. Because um, it's a pattern by Fournier Designs, it's a printed suit. So he only sells the patterns. It's basically, he sells the original version, which how it looks in the show, the bright red and the black, or this other version, which is like a little bit of a dark red, but it's got this nice texture to it. So I'm gonna get the version without the tabs or the R. I'll do something like make them 3D. I wanna do that, get a nice cape for it, make it all tactical, like get like, use like the Dark Knight belt or something and use a different sort of eye mask and just make like a tactical version of that Robin just had my own spin on it. But yeah, with all that said, and um, like, you know, all the piece breakdown and whatnot, let's go ahead and have a look at how these suits are. First, I'm gonna do the stealth mode, then I'm gonna do my um, tactical Robin 2.0, like with the red, and then I'm gonna do an alternative version, which I, which is, um, which is basically just a, then I'll show you an alternative version, which is basically just this uh, red long sleeve um, shirt and some black sleeves is what I, I was gonna do something similar to this for my original Red Robin design, but then changed it. So I'm gonna use something like that and show you the alternative and then we'll wrap up the video. Let's go ahead and jump straight into the costumes. Okay, so here's what the stealth mode cosplay looks like on me. Um, I really love how it looks. Um, you know, again, the 2.0 is basically this, but with red, and I will show you that in a minute. But yeah, so, it all fits nicely. You can see I've got the fins on there, and then the watch just sits underneath like so. It is a separate piece. Um, but yeah, so I'm hoping to have this charge on the day, and that way I can 
you know, if I get a message, I can look off it and whatnot, and take photos of Tim, like, hacking or calling for something, but, yeah, so, yeah, great movement, I can, yeah, great movement, but, um, yeah, if I want to, I can have a cake backwards, like so, now, put the red R and everything, and then, yeah, this can come off, shoot it, bring it back in, put it back on like so. Um, now, I do need to fix up the bow staff as I do have a thing broken on it, but, yeah, so, other than that, I'm going to show you some pictures now that I have of me in the broken on it, but... Yeah, so, other than that, I'm going to show you some pictures now that I have of me in the, um, stealth suit now. Okay, so apologies for the pictures, you know, they are just taken in the lounge room as you just saw, it's just... Something I did quickly inside, it is fairly cold and wet outside today um, and I didn't really want to go outside so we just took some photos in the living room. So now let's change into the red suit. And so here's my red version of the 2.0 and stuff. So yeah, this is just how it looks. Um, but yeah, so this is what I wanted to do for Supernova Melbourne. Um, but this didn't arrive in time, like I said. So, oh, it still works the same, still, um, you know, still move, why not? Um, it does feel a little bit tighter in here, especially like, uh, over here because um, these do have like, those padding, like if you saw the part one for this cosplay, you know, it has that, so. Yeah, but um, like that, I really love this costume, so, yeah. Got grapple gun. Um, I, the only thing I have to do for this in the stealth mode is I need to get some velcro and just velcro this down so that way I'm not spending the day just you know readjusting. But um, yeah. So I'm going to show you some video, um, some photos that I did. Again, I'm out in the living room uh, where I got the photos, so you know, it's just really me just standing in front of a wall with the grapple gun and whatnot, but anyway, I'm going to show you some photos, we'll segue into the next part. Okay, so this was my final outfit. Um, I didn't take any photos, so there won't be any camera roll. I'm just gonna basically talk you through this idea and wrap up the video. Um, so, uh, yeah, this, I had this stuff for a Red Robin cosplay. I was planning on originally doing a Red Robin, basically most of this same new belt with like a red buckle, which I am gonna be doing still, like red buckle and new belt. But instead now I'm going to be using like an undersuit, I'm going to get like a, the new 52 Red Robin bodysuit. Like I'm going to get the pattern, get that printed and sewn, and use that as a base, and then use the motorcycle armor to go over it, and have it like, you know, you know, chest piece, and like armor and stuff. Just have my own take, but have like a bit of like tactical pants and the athletic stuff, just going to be one big bodysuit, or one bodysuit. Um, so, yeah, I originally got this because I thought, hey, why not do, you know, basically, same as what I did for Robin with the red sleeveless shirt, the black long sleeves, and the red sleeves, but now I'm doing, but do that with the opposite of the black sleeves, red long sleeve, and the black single line. So, I'm glad I decided to change to the bodysuit, uh, but, yeah, this is just an alternative Robin I thought of last night when I did that. I found a little skit last night from when I'm recording and did that skit for the Lego Batman 2 DC Heroes scene for that film and 
you know, embed and stuff is just to roll out the air hats. Yeah, all in all, this is a pretty good look. I may do this for Supernova um, instead of doing that other look that I showed just before. So, this is an alternative option. You know, I still got um, this piece on the gauntlet and it kind of, you know, blends in a bit more. But yeah, let me grab a coffee and we'll wrap up this cosplay video. Thank you guys for watching. That's actually not as hot now, but still, thank you guys for watching. Um, let me know which of these three is your favourite. I like the style of mode, and I, I like all of, them, all of them. I can't pick a favourite. But yeah, I just love cosplaying as Tim. Um, I will be doing some more Tim Drake Robin cosplays in the next couple of years. You know, Tim's probably now my favourite DC character and one of my all-time favourite characters. You know, he only just passes Batman, I think, so yeah. Um, but yeah, I've got a few more cosplays to do, and plus a lot of people cosplay as Batman, I won't be able to, um, do that. I may do a Batman here and there, but I want to do a lot more of Tim Drake's cosplays, that he, he looks cool. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, make sure you check out my Instagrams, stuff down below. Make sure you go check out the Aussie Arsenal, John Hay, and the Boy Wonder on Instagram, and John Hay on YouTube, they awesome uh, cosplayers and their robins are awesome and all oh, and um, you know obviously Arsenal's Arsenal cosplayers are awesome but yeah go check them out they're really cool but yeah other than that I'm not sure when my next video will be hopefully it'll be a showcase but I'm not sure when um, but yeah so come like subscribe and share for more and I'll see you guys next time